Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with my comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A21 and the Samsung Galaxy A20. Now the Samsung Galaxy A21 features a 6.5 inch display, whereas the Samsung Galaxy A20 has a slightly smaller 6.4 inch display. So when holding the two bases of the devices at the same level, you can definitely see here that the A21 is the larger phone of the two. There are also some other differences involving the displays as well. Now with the A21, we're getting an IPS LCD display. But with the A20, we're getting a Super AMOLED display. Now beyond that, both devices are 720p. Now with the A21, we're getting a PPI of 270 compared to a PPI of 268 with the A20. And with the A21, we're getting a 20 by 9 aspect ratio compared to a 19 and a half by 9 aspect ratio with the A20. So the A21 does have a little bit more of a slimmer but taller form factor. And then finally, with the A21, we're getting a 79.3% screen to body ratio compared to an 85% screen to body ratio with the A20. So one big difference up top here is that with the A21, we are getting a hole punch for the front facing camera compared to a water drop notch with the H20. And then down towards the bottom, we're actually getting a little bit of a thicker bottom bezel from the looks of it with the H21 compared to the H20. Now, not too different there, but it does seem like in general, the bezels are a bit larger with the H21. Now with the H21, we're getting a 13 megapixel front facing camera compared to an eight megapixel front facing camera with the H20. Now both phones feature 32 gigabytes of internal storage, and they both also feature micro SD card expansion. And neither of the two phones have wireless charging, but they both have fingerprint sensors on the back. In addition to that, we are getting face unlock with both devices as well. Now taking a look at the cameras on the back, there are some pretty big differences here. So with the Samsung Galaxy A21, we are getting a quad camera setup compared to a dual camera setup with the A20. So we have a 16 megapixel main camera, an eight megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a two megapixel depth sensing camera, and a two megapixel macro camera. And with the A20, we have a 13 megapixel main camera and a five megapixel secondary camera. Now that secondary camera serves as both the depth sensing camera and the ultra wide angle camera. So essentially it's combining two abilities in one. So here's how things look with the front facing cameras on both devices but we can also switch to a wider field of view with both phones, which is great if you wanna take a group selfie, for example. And here's how things look through the main camera on both devices. And then we'll switch to the ultra wide angle cameras. And you can see both phones do fit quite a bit of additional content in the frame. Now internally, we're getting three gigabytes of RAM with both phones. And with the Samsung Galaxy A21, we're getting the MediaTek Helio P35, and with the Samsung Galaxy A20, we're getting the Samsung Exynos 7884 processor. Let's take a closer look at the hardware. So first thing is, I already talked about this, but a big difference with these two phones is that with the A21, we're getting a slightly larger display with a hole punch for the front facing camera compared to a notch with the A20. And then taking a look at the left side of both devices, they're both very similar as they both have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Both phones do feature an all plastic build besides the front panel. Taking a look at the right side of the two phones, they both have the volume button and they have the power button. Then on the top, they both have the noise canceling microphone. And then taking a look at the bottom of the two phones, they both also have a very similar setup with the speaker, microphone, USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then on the back of the two phones, they also look very similar whereas they both have a reflective material, they both have the camera module, flash, and fingerprint sensor.